Let's go to left voice for whatever reason this is cutting off. Let me move this over. I think it was I think it was uh our friend uh Robert Durden who said the big uh, the build back bullshit plan. I A lot of people him. have called it that. I've seen, but for sure. Yeah. Um that's where I heard it from at least. Shout so out, you saw Robert the common Durden. dreams piece from Tuesday. So this was Thursday, and that they betrayed family leave, and yet another betrayal. Ezra Brains reports the Democrats t- pay- took paid family leave out of the reconciliation bill. This is how they work: put forward progressive yep. promises when running, and then betray them once in office. Which is why I'm so proud to be an independent. Yep. Here. Biden betrayed yet another promise, and they're gonna. T- and he lists some of the other promises that have been betrayed: widespread college debt forgiveness, paid family leave, free community college. All of those promises has been betrayed, every single one. The Democrats are yep. playing their favorite game, blaming the Republicans. But the Democrats control two of the three branches of government, including the executive and both branches, both houses of Congress. That they can't pass their agenda should still should be a sign that it was never really their agenda to begin with. Hell yeah, sir. That's why it's in this one. And again, I didn't really see anybody talking about specifically tossing out the paid family leave portion of this act, which we all know the whole thing is just garbage. Um, <clears throat> at this point, it's a corporate giveaway. It privatizes the roads and bridges. Uh, it's not really going to help our infrastructure. And they're talking about $1.75 trillion, but they keep saying it's – or omitted that, that it's over 10 years. You're talking about $175 billion a year. The military budget alone over – just this year is seven times the size of that. Come on. So this is why they initially passed and proposed – what appeared to be progressive legislation. They wanted to get out of the crisis fast, rehabilitate the public's view of the government, so they passed a large stimulus bill, got their positive headlines, and now have completely failed to do anything else. And they didn't even pass that right. larger stimulus bill. I mean, they didn't even no. give out the two thousand where's my two thousand dollars? Joe I mean, I'm still I'm still sending Joe Biden cash app requests for six hundred bucks. It's it's constant goalpost moving with policy like it's like yeah we support this but we don't support this but we support this but we don't like it's it's like here's your crumb and it's gone like you know that's uh, actually i did that exact it's... meme to, uh, the other day on <laughs> on twitter and I, I put it up on twitter and yep. instagram and guess what it got a lot of likes <laughs> which is yep. six trillion for to actually help everyday americans and it's got Again, the Democrats allies in in the bourgeois media are trying to lay these betrayals solely at the feet of Manchin and Cinema. That we know that's the rotating villain. And that it just depends upon who they want Uh, who's gotta take the bite out of the shit sandwich today. And Nancy Pelosi partly decides that. Uh Chuck Schumer's gonna decide that. To a point Biden's gonna decide that. And the donors decide that amongst themselves. And it's not even up to the senators themselves. We all know who really gets things done though it's the parliamentarian we all know that they're the most powerful i know i voted <laughs> for the parliamentarian sure uh, no it's like it, now, now the line's gonna be you know you just gotta vote out mansion and cinema and then we'll be then we'll be able to do it like you know some new squad member will show up to do nothing we should fight to create our own party. A party of revolutionary workers, a party that truly represents the interests of the working class, a party that is grounded in class struggle and revolutionary theory, that understands the strategic use of elections, but doesn't have any illusions about the ability to overthrow capitalism through elections. A party that understands that I'll only organization, cohesion, and discipline will defeat the bourgeoisie, a party that understands that their historical task isn't to pass this or that piece of legislation, but rather to organize for the overthrow of this whole rotten system. Dude, so yeah, good. like, uh, it, it, the party has done one thing, though, 
Support for Brandon is at an all time high. Let's go, Brandon. Support for Brandon is way Let's up. Let's go, Brandon.